What is up guys? Welcome back to Overspray. In today's video, we are doing a review on a paint brand called Yurikim. As you guys can see, I've been using this base coat. Um, you can all see all the, the drip marks here, but this is the base coat that I'm using to paint my Honda Civic project car. This is the Uricam Silk Base uh, Urethane Base Coat, and this is the Milano Red R81. And uh, I got probably maybe about half a gallon uh, left. So, um, what are my opinions on the base coat. Is it good? Is it bad? What do I think about it? Um, well, let me just start off by saying that most of my experience with painting uh, was always Valspar or some sort of line from Valspar um, Matrix, which is also owned by Valspar. Um, but, and also Sherwin-Williams. I used a lot of Sherwin-Williams products uh, back in when I first started painting. And so that is basically my experience. Now, when I jumped to Uricam, I decided to go with Uricam basically because I was on a budget. Um, and what really attracted me to the Uricam was it was very budget friendly paint. Uh, it was very cost effective. And I thought that, um, well, for the money, you really couldn't beat it. Because when I was looking for uh, basically valve spar, uh, paint a gallon of the Milano red was pretty much about 500 or almost six hundred dollars um, Whereas when I bought the Uricam paint I bought a gallon of the Milano red which as you guys know red is a very expensive color. I got two reducers and a gallon of their clear and also an activator a quart of their activator so I thought for the money, that is an extreme deal, okay? Um, so I obviously was attracted by the price. Um, now, a couple things about this base. Um, it is mixed two to one. So uh, that's the only drawback that I really see with this uh, base is because it's mixed two to one, um, you basically need to use more paint in order to paint something, right? So you need to use more base, two parts base, one part uh, reducer. So for me, you're using a lot of paint basically, whereas other brands such as Matrix, this was mixed uh, one to one. Um, so I felt like um, you're using more paint or you're using more product, right? Um, to basically paint the same thing. So that is one drawback with the uh, with the Uricam is because of the mixing ratio. Uh, but there are other brands out there that are also mixed two to one. It just really depends. Um, but this is a 2K product for you guys uh, wondering. Um, it's not a 1K product, it's a 2K product obviously. Um, what I did like about it though is even though it's red, it seems to cover pretty well. Um, it is a solvent based paint. Um, it is not a water-based paint for you, you guys wondering. Um, but what I did like about it is it did cover really well um, for being a red. Usually red doesn't cover very well. And honestly, with most of my parts, two coats pretty much got me at full coverage. Now, if you guys have been seeing some of my videos, you guys know that I've been painting three coats on everything I've been painting. Um, because I basically started with three coats, and um, since I started with three coats, I wanted to ensure that all the parts were going to match. Um, and I didn't want to, you know, put two coats of base on something and then three coats of base on something else and then have it not match. So I really wanted to stay consistent. So basically, I've been, <laughs> everything I've been painting has been three coats. 
Um, but honestly, you could probably get away with just using two coats and that, that'll save you um, a lot more material, right? Um, so, so it's a little bit of a tit for tat, but honestly, for the price, I think it's really good paint. And uh, in, in comparison to some of the Matrix stuff, I think it's pretty comparable. Um, and uh, yeah, this is my this is my thought on the base. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the clear. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the clear coat that is made by Eurochem. This is the 2K MS Polyurethane Clear Coat, the UC410, and it also comes with its activator. This is the standard activator that it comes with, and this is the UA41. Um, my opinions on the MS Clear uh, from Eurochem is, I think it's pretty good for the money considering um, but at the same time, I feel like there might be some better products out there for the money. Um, I still think it's a good product. It is a MS clear, like I just said. Um, so basically that means medium solids. And it doesn't really tell me the, um, the solid content on it, but from my experience painting with the MS uh, clear, even though it's a standard activator, it dries pretty quickly. Um, and that's one benefit that I do like about it. Also, this is this mixes four to one as well. Um, but some of the drawbacks that I find with the clear is sometimes I'll get a little bit of shrinkage. And I know most products are going to have some amount of shrinkage, but I feel like with the MS clear, um, it just tends to shrink a little bit more than I would like. Now I could lay down this clear flat as glass and when it dries it'll look similar to an OEM finish or a little bit better than an OEM finish. Um, I think that just ha happens to be with the clear because I've used other clears where I will lay it down like glass and it'll stay like glass but with the Eurochem it just seems to shrink back just a bit and um, that that is one thing that I didn't like about the about the clear now if you want to buy this from the coatingstore.com uh, which is basically where you can get the Eurocam products um, what I found was that this clear is right around a hundred bucks uh, give or take now for a hundred bucks I think there are other clears that are probably perform a little bit better than this one um, I'm not saying that this one is terrible I think if you're on a budget it is a good clear um, but at the same time, I feel like there are, um, you know, better clears for, for that hundred dollar range. Um, but the, the main thing that I want to get at here is this actually came with the kit. So like I said, I did get a gallon of base and a gallon of clear, uh, for my project car and, uh, for 400 bucks. I mean, you, you can't find that kind of deal anywhere. So. Um, you know, I kind of went with this just because I was on a budget. Um, but if I had to do it all over again, I think I would choose a different clear. Um, maybe try their HS clear. Um, I have not tried their H clear, HS clear, but I think it would be worth the upgrade because to me, it just seems like the MS clear just, just shrunk back a little bit more than I would want to. Alrighty guys, so if you guys want a good comparison of what this Eurocam uh, paint sprays like, well if you've ever used the USC clear, uh, it basically renders the exact same finish. I would really, really compare these two. Um, you can basically buy this one on Amazon for right around the $100 range. It fluctuates a little bit um, on price, but um, I would say it's very comparable to these two. They, I could basically get the same exact finish with using both of these. Now, both of these are four to one uh, ratio, a uh, mixing ratio. So both of them are the same uh, as far as that goes. But I will say that um, this one is a bit more easier to sand. This one still is pretty easy. Um, it's not, it doesn't harden super hard to the point where you can't sand it. Um, so that I will say that it is, Still, like I said, very comparable to the USC. Um, and like I said, it does render the same finish. 
This one does tend to shrink a little bit, um, as well as the Eurocam, but I would say um, comparing the two, they're almost identical um, in just about every aspect. Um, what else can I say about it? Now, Eurocam does advertise that they have no yellowing in their clear, um, and I, I would say that they have a tad bit of yellowing, but not a lot. Um, and same with the USC, it doesn't seem to have a lot of yellowing. Is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? Well, it's good because it doesn't really change the color too much. Um, now, if you're doing an overall paint job like I'm doing, um, it really doesn't matter just because you're painting the whole thing. But if you were to uh, paint match something, you might get um, a little bit of a color difference just because of a um, slight bit of yellowing, right? Now, as far as thickness goes with the clear coat, um, the Eurocam is a little bit on the watery side, pretty similar, like I said, to the USC Clear. Um, I can really feel that, you know, they're a little bit on the watery side, I'm not gonna lie. And um, some of the other uh, clears that I have used uh, just aren't as watery as uh, these two right here. But like I said, they are very, very comparable, but we're just gonna go ahead and move this guy to the side. Um, it is a little bit on the watery side, like I said. Um, it is a bit on the thin side. From what I can tell, it does have some pretty decent uh, UV protection, um, but the only time will tell with this product. Now, like I said, I really, I got these two in a bundle, um, you know, base coat and clear coat with its activators and reducers. And um, honestly, I would score this paint probably a four out of five, um, just because it's really budget friendly. Um, I think it covers well. And uh, the clear, well, like I said, it does shrink a little bit, but I mean, a lot of products that I've used also shrink. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, it's very comparable to the USC clear that I have on my right side. So I think uh, for the money, I think it's a good clear. Uh, and I think it's a good paint product, a good paint system. I like that they offer kits where they'll give you base and clear and a bunch of other stuff if depending on you know what kit you're buying. Um, and yeah, and if you want some additional paint, they also can send you in a quart. So I'm thinking of buying one more quart of base for, uh, for my little project car, uh, just to make sure I don't run out. And uh, yeah, so you know, it's, it's, it's hard to say because there's not a lot of people selling paint online. And uh, the fact that you can go online, order some paint and get it delivered to your door um, is just, for me, it's a, a convenience factor. I don't have to go to the paint store. I can just, you know, order my paint ahead of time and it'll get delivered right to my door. So I did appreciate that. So um, with that, I'm gonna say, your cam is a go. I would say if you're on a budget, go ahead and get it. Um, it's good stuff, and uh, I think you should be happy with it. If you are getting the clear, make sure uh, you get you upgrade to the HS clear, the Glamour clear. I think it'll be a little bit better. I think it'll uh, render better results. Um, but yeah, if you're on a budget, this kit should uh, do the trick for you. Alrighty guys, so that is my review on the Eurocam paint system. I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and wanna see more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure that you have the notifications on so you don't miss my next video. Anyway guys, stay spraying. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.